Hey everybody, Sam here with the Homestead Box and today is the day. Finally, it's here. We're going to do our first box opening. This is the 2017 intro box. Now, you may have seen this box on some other YouTube channels before now because we gave uh, some of our Homesteader friends out there a sneak peek at this box. But today you're going to get the official intro box review. If you order a box in 2016, remember, you're going to get this intro box. If you don't want any spoilers about what that intro box is going to be, uh, maybe wait till your box arrives at your house and then come back and join us again. So let's get right into it. So first we have this. This is our product card. This is going to be an integral part of the Homestead Box system. Uh, remember that we uh, chose to keep each box both seasonal and uh, project oriented. And when we sat down to determine what's going to be in this box, we thought, well, what's every homesteader need? What is the one takeaway message, that one foundational project that every homesteader needs to undertake? And we just thought uh, instantly about tool maintenance, tool care, because we believe in getting quality items and taking care of them for a lifetime. So you can see our project card here. Uh, we like to do a, this is just a list of all the, the stuff that's in the box and we'll go over it. And we like to do a brand spotlight every month. So every month, some of the smaller companies we deal with that produce fantastic products, we're going to uh, give them a little shout out down here so that you can know a little more about that product. <clears throat> but I want you to flip this card on over and check out uh, the project side. Now this side goes into a little detail about each item in the box and how it fits together because this isn't just a box of random stuff. This is a box that if you apply all of these items to a skill set that they're all going to work together. So uh, let's just get right into it. Let's see where to start. Oh, this is a little extra item. Not on the list, but uh, if you were one of our first 30 subscribers, uh, this is a little thank you gift. Uh, so thank you, first 30 subscribers. You got uh, one of these books. It's a great book. Let's start here, because we've already done a video. If you check out our YouTube page, uh, we've done a video using these two products in depth. This is our leather salve and saddle soap. Now, we cleaned our boots with it, but you can use this for any leather product uh, that you have laying around the house. Uh, it is important uh, as a part of a full comprehensive maintenance system that you take care of leather, wood, and steel. Those uh, materials pop up all over the homestead and these are going to be vital in taking care of those things. So that's your Otter Wax Leather Savin Saddle Soap. Uh, we'll leave that. Um, we are, everyone in our classic box is going to get a Open L number eight, which is a cool little knife that we're going to do another video on. Uh, really nice old design made in France. It's just wood and steel. And uh, these materials, like I said, they need to be taken care of, but if you'll take care of them, they'll take care of you for a long time. Now, why didn't we include some bruiser of like some huge beefy uh, survival type knife? Well, that's not what we're really about here. Uh, when I carry a knife on my homestead, I carry a uh, Something like this, a multi-tool that is just for utility, scraping paint, scraping glue, uh, prying stuff out. Really, I, I abuse this knife. So this is my everyday out in the field knife, but when I need a razor sharp blade, I like to carry a separate uh, folder, folding pocket knife, that I keep just a razor sharp edge on to do those tasks that uh, I need a little bit more detail and control on. And if you'll learn to take good care of a pocket knife, 
uh, you'll go far in a in a homesteading lifestyle. So we're gonna get uh, we're gonna do another video uh, about this knife a little later this month. All right, um, Lansky puck must have part of a uh, maintenance and sharpening set. Now, this kit that we included here is not your like woodworkers razor sharp shaving set. Can you get a razor sharp edge with what we've given you? Absolutely, you can. But this is for your tools that are gonna be meeting dirt, they're gonna be meeting uh, grit, they might hit a nail or two sometimes. These are, tools are gonna help keep those, your hose, your shovels, your axes, all those tools gonna keep them in good shape. And we're gonna do uh, a little more about this and what it means to be sharp and how we use this to take care of our um, garden tools. Got a little bit more packaging here. As we talk about uh, part of the sharpening thing, must have is a is a file. When we put this kit together, we're going super coarse, okay, which is your file. Your file does the work of a grinder. Uh, this puts the edge back on a chipped and abused uh, tool. So you use your file, it's got one safe edge over here, meaning it's not cut on this side so you can get right up next to things. Um, just a really good file. It doesn't need a separate wood handle. You've seen the files with just the, the tang that's sharp on the end. We chose one with a rounded thing so you could just throw this in your back pocket and address those uh, coarse edges like a hoe, a grubbing hoe or something like that. So there's your file. Um, and then the final part, so you got the coarse in your file, your mediums in your Lansky puck, and then your super fine, <coughs> excuse me, uh, your super fine in your strop kit. Now, a strop kit's simple. Uh, we were looking, strop sell for outrageous uh, money online. You can get them pre-built, but we were like, there's no sense in that. Any able-bodied person should be able to build their own strop. It's just a piece of leather applied to a piece of wood, and then you use this green honing compound as an abrasive on the leather. You can use the smooth side or the rough side, and we're going to do a more in-depth video about how to build this strop but you can check out our friend uh, Danny King over at Deep South Homestead. That's his YouTube channel, Deep South Homestead. And he goes through how he built a strop uh, using our kit. All right, that's the classic box. If you're a classic subscriber, you've got all you need to maintain the tools uh, for your garden and your homestead. Now let's move on to some Pioneer upgrades. If you're a Pioneer, subscriber first you're going to get these field notes super useful these are uh waterproof and are water resistant and tear resistant you can write on them use a ball uh, a ballpoint pen though not gel ink because it the ink doesn't soak in it rides on the surface but if you use a ballpoint pen uh, these are great to have around the homestead to make notes uh, angles of sharpening systems and stuff that you do on your homestead this is just a good thing to have that's a three pack by the way field notes made in the USA all right and then our last thing is this condor hatchet I'm not going to take this out of the package because this is a uh, well yeah I am I'm going to take it out of the package we're going to take it out so there's some things I want to point out. We chose this. Uh, it, it's just a great stout hatchet to have. Uh, a lot of the reason we chose it, it, it doesn't have a finished handle. It, it's not covered in some enamel, epoxy. We don't want that. We are going to uh, apply our sanding sponge 
our boiled linseed oil to this handle to give it the finish that it needs to be uh, usable on our homestead. And when we do our tool maintenance video uh, a little later this month, we're gonna talk about why we use boiled linseed oil and not the, the shiny shellac varnish uh, on our handles. Um, and then you can use, every if you're a Pioneer subscriber, you can use this entire kit to put a razor sharp edge on, on this hatchet and it'll last a good while. Um, if you've been following our Choose the Right Axe for Your Homestead uh, series, we're going to look at this particular hatchet in depth and why you would even need a hatchet on a homestead. Um, so, a couple of things. If you're a new subscriber, this is going to be your box. This is the intro box. doesn't matter when you subscribe, you're going to get this because it's a foundational gateway skill to home setting to be able to maintain all of your tools. There's no sense in a in a economy where a lot of things are disposable and you just use them till they break and then you throw them away. We're trying to fight that by giving you the tools that you need to maintain those those uh, tools that you went and you chose and that you use every day. So if you'll apply this system, like we said, uh, the future projects that we send you will become even that much easier. If you have any questions about anything in our box or how this subscription stuff works, put that in the comments below. We actually read those comments and we'll uh, hopefully we can get to you quickly. Uh, thanks, thank you guys for watching. Thank you all subscribers on YouTube and box subscribers. Uh, just go ahead and click that little bell and uh, have a nice weekend. I don't know why I said weekend and smiled like an idiot at the end. <laughs>